Hello friends, loved ones, and other creatures of YouTube. My name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and welcome to the channel. Today's video is gonna be talking all about, um, uh, today's video is talking about, I had it right at the tip of my tongue, dementia. I'm gonna be giving you the top five things you can do right now in order to help prevent dementia. Before we dive into these top five things, I think it's important to know a little bit about what dementia actually is. Dementia, also known as major neurocognitive disorder, is an overall steady decline in mental function. Most of the time, dementia is an overall shrinking or atrophy of specific parts of the brain. You can kind of think of your brain as a muscle, whereas the less often you use a muscle, the smaller it gets, and the more often you use a muscle, the larger it gets or undergoes hypertrophy. This is analogous to what happens as dementia progresses over time. The cause of dementia is poorly understood, but it's likely to be multifactorial, which means that a bunch of different things happen and occur all at the same time, leading to what is known as dementia. The best time to start these five tips is actually right now, because the sooner you intervene, the less likely you are to actually go on and develop dementia. So the number one thing that you can do right now in order to help prevent dementia is exercise. There have been loads of literature and studies that have continually shown the importance of exercise in the prevention of dementia. This exercise can be anything as light as a brisk walk to something as heavy as some serious cardio. The key is to be consistent, getting about 30 to 45 minutes of exercise at least five days a week. And it's really important to maintain an overall active lifestyle. The second most important thing that you can do to help prevent dementia is to get enough quality sleep. Sleep is incredibly important for overall brain health, and we're slowly discovering more and more just how important it is in preventing dementia. A recently published study looked at thousands of individuals over a 25 year span and found that those individuals who slept fewer than six hours per night were 30% more likely to go on to develop dementia. A 30% increased risk is absolutely massive. Therefore, it's really important to try to get at least seven hours of quality sleep every single night. A serious yet preventable cause of dementia is something known as a vitamin B1 or a thiamine deficiency. A thiamine deficiency can occur for several reasons, but the two most common reasons that we see over and over are chronic alcohol use as well as those individuals who eat a lot of carbs on a daily basis. Consuming both of these in high quantities places a lot of stress on your body for increasing demand of vitamin B1. That being said, it's really important to limit your overall alcohol intake to no more than one to two drinks per day, as well as try to limit the carb intake and supplement it with foods higher in fat and higher in protein as an overall way of eating. The last two things you can do are both food related. And the fourth most important thing that you can do right now in order to help prevent dementia is to fix the gut microbiome. You hear gut microbiome and think, Mitch, what in the world are you talking about? Our gut is actually loaded with more bacteria than there are cells in our entire bodies. Making sure all of these little critters are healthy is absolutely essential in keeping our bodies healthy as well as our minds healthy. Fixing the gut microbiome also significantly reduces levels of inflammation all throughout your body. The way to fix this gut microbiome is to eat all different types of vegetables, specifically those high in fiber. A good goal that you can have is throughout the week, try to create or paint all of the colors of the rainbow with all of the different vegetables that you eat. Revamping the gut microbiome can also be done through intermittent fasting. There have been loads of evidence of the overall benefits of intermittent fasting, which I discussed in a previous video. If you're interested, I'll put that video here in the top corner, as well as in the description below. Before we get on to the fifth and final tip, there's one thing that you can do right now if you happen to have early onset dementia or just tend to forget things like I do, especially when it comes to misplacing my wallet. I wanna talk about Exter, which is the world's largest smart wallet brand. Now I never actually promote products unless I use them myself. And I've been using the Parliament wallet by Exter for about the last two weeks and it's absolutely beautiful. It's significantly slimmer than my old wallet, 
with easy access of cards for the seamless transactions for buying all those vegetables that I do on a weekly basis. My favorite part about the wallet is that it comes with a GPS tracker that fits nicely right into the back pocket. It really doesn't matter if you're suffering from forgetfulness, this wallet is practically unlosable. And I'm pretty sure unlosable is a word. I highly recommend that you guys check out not only their wallets, but all of their other products. And you can do so by following the link right at the bottom of this video, as well as the link that I've put in the description below. If you click on the link and go to the website, you'll get 15% off all of their products through the beginning of April, part of their anniversary sale. The fifth and final tip that you can do in order to help prevent dementia is eating more sprouts, specifically broccoli sprouts. There are specific phytonutrients in broccoli sprouts that essentially act as power foods for your brain. There's also a nutrient called sulforaphane, which has been known to reduce overall levels of inflammation, as well as help reduce overall levels of toxic buildup, which are two main things that contribute to dementia. Again, guys, these are just the top five things that you can do in order to help prevent dementia. There are loads of other things out there and if you would like a comprehensive list I can do another video on this topic in the future as always guys thank you so much for sticking with me through to the end of this video and I will see you all on the next one